Hi everybody. So unfortunately, it's been a while since I've been able to make a video. So I want to make today's video really quick. It's just going to be a builder tip. So with that, welcome to the Renaissance Builder. So today's builder tip involves using sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, as a catalyst, any substance that increases the rate of chemical reaction without itself being consumed. For cyanoacrylate. Super glue. Yes, yes, yes. Super glue. So we're putting baking soda with super glue. All right. Now, to explain myself a little bit here, uh, super glue is called cyanoacrylate glue. And believe it or not, baking soda acts as a catalyst. It makes it dry faster. Yes. The already fast drying cyanoacrylate super glue uh, will dry faster if you sprinkle some baking soda on it. What brings this about is I have a piece of plastic that, well, it needs a repair. And I believe I can make this repair using this technique of super glue and baking soda because not only does baking soda make the super glue dry faster, it also acts as a reinforcement. So if you ever break something, and you want to use super glue to repair it, but it's like really tiny and you need to, like you need to make the glue joint fatter uh, to reinforce it, then you can use baking soda to, to really create a big old glob of strong glue. It works pretty well. It's kind of like using wood chips in, in uh, wood filler, wood chips and glue as wood filler. All right, so without dragging this out too long, what I'm going to do is, is change the camera angle and lighting so that you can actually see what I'm doing. And we're going to try and make this repair using the super glue and uh, I'm trying to think how I'm going to clamp this, but I think I got an idea. So we're going to try using the super glue and baking soda technique uh, to glue this and reinforce it to hopefully work. Otherwise I'll have to buy a new part. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor, hit that like button and hit the subscribe and bell icon. I would really appreciate it because it helps the channel out a lot. Okay, so what I have here is, it's actually a lid to one of my Testo Bluetooth gauges. And if you, if you look closely, this piece of plastic is actually housing a spring tension uh, metal doodad right there. And the, it was glued before right around this perimeter. See if I can get something to point with. Um, it was glued right around this perimeter here. Uh, oops, mirror image. So it was glued right around this perimeter here. And that glue joint has since come loose, which means the, the whole lid mechanism is not working correctly. So what I want to do is re-glue this and reinforce it with the baking soda technique. So what I'm going to do is use my, my little Dewalt uh, clamp here. And I'm gonna, just going to go underneath here, and I'm going to try doing it, since this thing takes up way too much space, I don't have any, like, jeweler's clamps or whatever, I'm going to try doing it one half at a time. I should probably do the half that's not spring-loaded. All right, so you can see if it, uh, if it will focus, camera focus. I hate the focus on this camera. There we go. All right, so you can see uh, the buildup right there. So now what I'm gonna try doing is uh, giving this a little bit of time to dry, and then we're gonna move the clamp and do the same thing with the other side. All right, so at this point I've shifted the clamp. Now I'm going to do the same procedure for this side. We're going to put down the glue uh, right here, we're going to put down the glue. All right, so at this point, I've given it a few minutes to dry, and I've shifted the clamp over. And now we're going to do the same procedure for this side, putting down the glue and then the baking soda. All right, so you can see now I have this on this side. Now, I'm not going to take the clamp up just yet. It needs to dry more thoroughly. In fact, I am going to need to sand down uh, there's, it's lumpy up here and it's too high. 
So I am going to need to sand down this bridge a bit to make it fit. Uh, but this should do the job. So I'm going to give this a few more minutes to dry. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it overnight. I'm going to leave the clamp on overnight. Uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, the other thing that I... <laughs> The other thing I hope it didn't do is uh, if if any of the super glue got underneath, then it would have seized this moving action, and that would also not be good. So hopefully it didn't do that. So that's it for today's builder tip. If you ever find yourself needing just a little bit more substance, a little bit more of a substantial joint to your super glue repair, then you can use baking soda or if you just need the super glue to actually dry faster than it already does, baking soda. It, it works great. Uh, and it's a household product. So hopefully you find it, you know, useful, at least entertaining. I very much appreciate you guys watching to this point. I really do. Make sure you hit that subscribe and bell icon to keep up with future tips and videos and all the crazy stuff that we got going on on the Renaissance Builder channel. Thank you very much, guys. You have a good night. Till next time. Bye-bye.